I have created these beautiful graphics and I have posted them on my Facebook page. I have posted them on Instagram. I have tweeted them. I have put them in the community tab of my YouTube channel. I have hired someone from Fiverr and I made these beautiful graphics and flyers and I have posted them all on my Facebook page and on my Instagram and on my YouTube channel community section. I have gone to the seminars and the events. I have bought into the programs. I have watched all the videos about how to grow my Instagram followers. Following. I have watched all the videos on how to grow my Facebook business page. I have watched all the videos on how to grow my subscribers on YouTube. And I spent hours in a day doing all of these things and I don't understand why I'm not getting clients. I don't understand why I am not making money every day. I don't understand why it is that I am doing everything these gurus are telling me to do or that all these people who have all these subscribers and followers I don't understand why I'm not making any money I see the ads and they're saying they made a million dollars and all of these things and I've done what they told me to do but it has not worked for me sound familiar yeah because it's happening to you Mr. Warmer is reading your emails and today I'm going to answer the question as to why it is these are not income producing activities. Why it is you are investing your time into these things that are not yielding you results. Hey, listen. <laughs> if financial security and anonymity, along with tax free wealth, cash credit, your desired lifestyle, yeah, your legacy, if all of that sounds good to you, you're in the right place. You already know that I am Aurora Day, and this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. It's Money Monday. You asked and Miss Aurora is answering. Okay, so for those of you who have emailed to talk about these things that are going on, I have gone to your Facebook pages, I have gone to your Instagram pages, I have gone to your Twitter pages, and some of you do have YouTube channels, okay? So I do see what you're saying, that you have gained the ability to obtain more followers, more subscribers, more likes, okay? And you did the whole tweet for retweet thing, and you did get people to follow you there. Okay, so here are some of the mistakes, and this is for all of the secure entrepreneurs out here, or anyone who finds this video, okay? If you are doing these things, you need to stop doing them because you already know that these are not income producing activities. Now, when I went to your pages, I see that some of you had 3,500 friends. Some of you even had 4,700 friends. One of you had 5,000 friends, okay? You filled it up, okay? Um, on your Instagram, I see that you had a lot of followers, okay? Here's, here's what you did that is definitely no good. You jumped into Miss Aurora's Facebook Messenger. You immediately solicited me. I'm not your client. I don't want anything that you're selling. Okay, I don't have an interest and I don't have a need. Okay, it's not a solution for me. You jumped into my Instagram message, you immediately solicited me. I don't have a need, it's not a solution for me. You jumped, you jumped into my Twitter message, okay, and you started showing me some things that I would absolutely have no interest in. It's not a part of my lifestyle. I don't have small children, okay? Um, so, so it's showing me that you all who are doing this are not vetting these individuals. You friended a whole lot of people. You did the follow for follow, okay? Uh, you got people to follow you, but they're not invested in what it is that you have to offer. They're not invested in you. They're not invested in your cause, okay? They're not invested in whatever you're saying is a solution to the problem that they may be having and they don't really understand what the solution is because you did not lead with it, okay? The other thing that I saw that some of you are doing is, oh, you had some great copy. Great copy on top of your um, your posts and things like that, and then you had a link 
to your cash app. Now, when a real business person or somebody who's really interested in doing business with you sees the cash app, they automatically, they immediately know that this is not someone who's really in business. This person is not in business, okay? This is maybe a hobby. People want to, business people, people who are in business want to deal with people who they know are really in business. The cash app is not going to cut it, okay? The other thing, some of you had links leading to some funnel pages and I did see the funnel, okay? Again, I did not see where it was anything that I would be interested in. So that tells Miss Aurora that the reason why these are not income producing activities for you is because you were randomly picking these people to follow and to follow you, uh, to subscribe to you. You did not create a system, hello, income producing activity, create a system to vet your target audience, okay? Can, can, I, can I go in? Can I get into this? <laughs> you were taught how to get followers, likes, subscribers, but you were not taught how to get clients. You were not taught how to get customers, okay? So now you got a Facebook full of friends who have no interest in the post that you're putting up daily and the truth be told, as we all know, all of your friends are not seeing your post, okay? So, income producing activity number one, you're going to invest some money in your ads, okay? If you're going to do something daily, you're going to be nurturing the leads that your ads have brought to you regarding the product or the service that you are selling. If you have not done these things, okay, you're wasting a whole lot of time and what, what little monies you have spent to get these graphics and these flyers made are for naught, okay? The income producing activity is creating the system to generate the leads so that now you can bring people into your space for a fee. You see how that works? Now, for those of us who are on YouTube, well, this is free. And then when your channel gets to a certain amount of subscribers, now you can have the membership. And when people have the ability to join the membership, well, they're now saying, I have invested enough of my time and I know this is the culture that I want to be a part of. I am interested in the subject matter. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and pay a fee to get the information that the individual or individuals are not talking about on, on, on the free portion of the platform, okay? You see, you see how that goes? So if, 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 if in fact you are using YouTube, guess what? You got random people coming to the page also, especially if you're one of these people that get on this whole, I'm going to create a title that people are looking for and I'm going to get a whole lot of people to come and view the video. That's not gaining loyalty. That's not gaining people who are buying into you, what it is that you are producing or the solutions that you have for them. Okay. So now once you generate the lead, the individual, the individuals who actually have an interest in the solutions that you are providing, okay? Now, you're going to begin to nurture those relationships. You wanna get all into what it is that they're about, what it is that they're trying to get accomplished, what their goals are, where are their endeavors, okay? And you're going to create a win-win situation for them. So that means that now you put together and now they're online events. Now I have an online event. I've given you, I've given you, I kept, I kept dating you. I'm dating you. I'm giving you free content. I'm talking to you. I'm nurturing the relationship. And now I'm ready to get married. <laughs> I want to make the ultimate commitment. This is dedication. Okay. So my income producing activity today is 
putting on this event, whether it be on Zoom, Skype, I don't, I don't care where it is, but that lead has paid to get to the event that is income producing, okay? So now, the other place I'm gonna take the lead is to a more private space. Because now I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. I need to get all inside of your head. What's making you tick? What's driving you? What is your why? What is your purpose for seeking out this solution? Can I go deeper? Can I go deeper? So now that I know what your problem is all about, now that I know what your true issue is, I can make you an offer. See, I can make you an offer. Now, that's an income producing activity. I brought you into a smaller, more intimate space. I had some private conversations with you, and now I'm making you an offer. Okay, because you may have been over here, you may have paid a fee to get to the event. And I made an offer at the event, but it's definitely not the offer that I made to you once I was able to have some intimacy with you. I got you into an intimate space and now we're comfortable with one another. We, we have, we're building trust with one another. And, and we have now made an amical agreement to work with one another, okay? So when we're getting into the whole income producing activities every day, these are the things that the entrepreneur who is now you know, forced to be indoors and in smaller spaces, you can't really get out there and bring the crowd at this moment, okay? You have to now be more strategic with your fishing net, okay? We know that's why it's called fishing, okay? I heard somebody say that last night in a video. He said, it's not called catching, it's called fishing because it's true. I was like, oh my God, this man is making so much sense anyway. The reality of the situation is that these people that you learn how to get in front of could care less about what it is that you are offering because they're in front of a whole lot of other people. They're in front of hundreds of thousands of people, okay? And Miss Aurora keeps telling you that right now the main objective is to tap into the international market because, see, we've got too many people in society right now that that are in the in the in the in the the pit they're in the pit because their unemployment is being cut off okay the things that made them feel secure is being cut off a lot of the things that made them feel comfortable and content is being cut off. So now even their complacency is being jacked with, okay? So if you are not understanding that you have got to come on outside of the box, come on outside of the box, then no, you're not going to find your way to recession proofing yourself. You're not going to find your way to recession proofing your business and you're not going to find your way to bringing in the revenue that you desire. Now, some of you have asked me, you know, um, why I haven't talked about Amazon when I did the video about the companies that we're watching that did better uh, than ever in the first and second quarter. I am going to talk about Amazon because that's a very big situation. That's, 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 that's a primary example of a company that has tapped the international market, okay? And forget that, you know, on the national level, come on. Okay, so to all the secured entrepreneurs, I thank you for emailing us here at Aurora Day Consultant. Please continue to do that. Info at auroradayconsultant.com. Okay, and I'm going to make more videos like this to answer this question because you are uh, wasting, you know, you're not utilizing time as wisely as you could. And I'm seeing what you're putting out there, but you're putting it in front of a dead audience. Okay, so let's. Tighten up. Come on, it's August 1st, people.
Let's get it. And you know, you can find me, Aurora Day, at auroradayconsulting.com. And until next time, ta-ta.